Hello, I'm Rosianna from the UK and today I'm guest vlogging on EF to talk about great travel reads to read while visiting the UK. As you can tell by the tabs on this one, this is one of my favourites. I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. I first read this book when I was about 11 or 12 years old and it's about two sisters who live in the ruins of a castle with their writer father and their stepmother. This novel is set in 1930s Britain and follows the sisters as they fall in and out of love, sell off furniture to pay for food and learn to tell their own stories. Part of why I come back to this story over and over again is because I love ruins and the way they talk about the castle reminds me of the sweeping abbeys that you can find around the UK. Born and raised in London, I am definitely a city girl, but I love visiting the countryside because of stories like this one. Speaking of the city, White Teeth by Zadie Smith is one of my absolute favourite books about London. It has the noise, the bustle, the voices of London and Zadie Smith's writing is like music. She's one of my favourite authors, all of her books are brilliant and explore different parts Parts of the London and British experience. If you're new to Zadie Smith's writing, White Teeth is an excellent place to begin. Its play with time is quite gentle at first, and then it throws you into all sorts of different narratives. Later, Samad and Poppy walked up through Harlston, around Dollis Hill, and then, when it seemed they were hovering too near to Wilsdon, Samad waited till the sun went down, bought a box of sticky Indian sweets, and turned into Roundwood Park, admiring the last of the flowers. So chances are you've probably read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling, but I'd recommend a reread before or during your trip. There are clear points of interest, Platform 9 and 3 quarters, or Tom Riddle's Grave, or Edinburgh Castle, but you find yourself looking for the Leaky Cauldron, Diagon Alley, Hogspeed and Hogwarts, down every cobbled alleyway, tucked away pub, or Castle Ruin. What is it about Castle Ruins and me? JK Rowling and I actually went to the same university and if you make it down to Exeter you might hear some outlandish claims about where some of the locations in this book were based. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro might not seem like a relaxing holiday read. <laughs> this book is strange, quiet and often dark, taking place in a Britain where medical ethics have spun out of control. One of Ishiguro's many skills is bringing out the eerie and haunting in the many benign landscapes of the UK the quiet yet maybe sinister protection of boarding school and the space between friends and lovers. The first instalment in Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials series, Northern Lights, begins in Oxford. But it's not quite the same Oxford you'd encounter if you took a bus or train to the university town. Nonetheless, it doesn't take much to feel like you've stepped through a window into Lyra's Oxford. With its aura of Britain through the ages, with its pristine college buildings and amazing university libraries. Oxford is also home to wonderful bookshops and lovely coffee shops, bars and pubs in which to read your haul from all of those bookshops. Lastly, I feel like I'd be remiss if I were making a video about books to read when you're in the UK and I didn't mention the lovely Jane Austen. I'm not going to recommend Pride and Prejudice today though because chances are you've read it, but Emma, Emma is my absolute favourite one of hers. Emma Woodhouse, handsome, clever and rich, with a comfortable home and happy disposition, seemed to unite some of the best blessings of existence and had lived nearly 21 years in the world with very little to distress or vex her. Bath is the famous home of Jane Austen, complete with Jane Austen Museum and lots of sights to see around the UK where the various adaptations were filmed. This one's chunky too, so it will last you at least a couple of days of your trip. I hope you enjoy those books. Let me know what you think in comments. Thanks very much to EF for having me. Bye.